Hey yo Internetters, welcome back to another pin spinning to to pin spinning. No. Hey yo Internetters, welcome back to another. Yo, it's been too long. I'm so sorry. Uh, we'll get this right right here. Hey yo Internetters, welcome back to another pin spinning video. And so for today, we'll be learning, we'll be doing a tutorial on how to do the Sonic requested by Zoe. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. And before you get into learning how to do the Sonic, you have to know the prerequisite, which is to know how to do the charge, which is one of the other fundamentals that um, you should know. Uh, there's four fundamentals, and eventually I'll try to do a tutorial on each of these uh, fundamentals because I uh, got it, got them down. And so, with all of that being said, I guess we could just start like talking about the Sonic. And so, to start off, you could do the Sonic with your palm in many different directions. These positions are with your palm up, your palm to the side, and with your palm down. And so before we get into actually like watching this tutorial video, I just want to let you know I'm very very bad at giving tutorials because I can't really explain really well what I'm doing because at some point when I'm doing the pin tricks, it becomes pure muscle memory and I can't explain what I'm doing. So what I'll do instead is I'll link you a video of k 93 tutorial of the Sonic and I suggest you go watch that over my video. But before uh, you click away, I want to let you know that by the end of this video, I'll give you some announcement for the next two weeks on what video should be coming up. Yeah, let's just get right into uh, this tutorial on the Sonic. So the Sonic looks like this, right? And most of you, if you never know how to do the Sonic to begin with, will look like this. It will look something like this when you're trying to practice it. And I don't know how to pin spin with my right hand. So this will be a great demonstration with my right hand. So. Okay, that looked it really well. Okay, so it'll, it'll be it'll be more like that. Okay, so the Sonic goes like this, where you swing the pin, and as the pin is swinging, it gets about right here, and then after that, you'll bend your middle finger down from here. So it don't have to be like all the way down here. It could just be like very subtle, and then from there, you take your index finger and you press it against your two your middle finger, and then from there. You just basically squeeze in with your index finger and as you squeeze it in closer to your middle finger the pin will go up and then the momentum will just carry the pin all the way around and that's generally how the sonic works to start or to hold the pin you can hold it in multiple ways uh, you can start off holding it like this where the pin is literally between your middle finger and your ring finger that's how i started learning the sonic is between these two finger slots and I keep it horizontal and I just support it with my thumb like this. And then from there, I'll just let go of my thumb and I'll do the swing. Like the first initial chart. Right? That's what I would do. Or my preference on how I actually learn the Sonic is to keep this tip of the pin resting on my thumb flap right here. And when I swing the pin, it will just go like that. Right? And how? And basically you have to kind of move your thumb all the way. Like my thumb will be right here, but then I kind of like eh, like eh, switch, like pull it out like my thumb eh, like that, right? And it'll just spin. Or you can just rest it on your thumb flat, you press root, you force it up really hard, and the pin will just, it'll just, you know, fly out your thumb flap and it'll just start swinging. Right? So that's, that's what I would, um, that's what I did. So you get the pin to be able to swing, you know, circular. So it'll go like this, like, like just like that, like just how you're doing a regular charge. You're literally just doing one single charge over and over and you get that circular motion now. Once you get that circular motion now, the difference is when you get about right here, about when your pin gets horizontal. When it gets horizontal, you need to bend down your middle finger and then from there just support it with your index finger after that. And then from there to get the pin to go all the way around, you just take your middle finger and just bring it closer to your middle finger, index finger to your middle finger. So it's like they're giving a kiss to each other, like Mwah! like that, right? So that's what you'll be trying to do. Like the closer you bring, and then momentum will just carry over. And that's that's literally what the pin trick, how it works. And the most frustrating part is getting it to actually become circular, at least from my experience. And I would say to continue to press forward and keep learning. And I know eventually you'll be able to learn the Sonic. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to leave it down in the comments and uh, there 
I will respond if I know how to you know could give you tips or there's other pin spinners out there that can actually give you tips on how to learn a sonic and other uh, sources that you could use to learn it I just want to say that I am starting to learn the Hytua and it's been a week since I'm learning and I was gonna post it this weekend but I couldn't because I didn't learn it in time and also I am starting to learn how to learn the Rubik's Cube and so those are the two videos that you can look out for in the next coming week so yeah that'd be pretty something exciting to do that's pretty much all i have for today and i just want to say thank you very much for watching and like always until next time